my profit margin is already very low and the market is so competitive and I'm running the manufacturing plant which is producing some output for this uh, industry. Recently, I heard about this digital twin. You know, does this digital twin able to help? Mm. This is a very subjective question. It depends on what you want to do with the digital twin. Mm -hmm. So if you want to know more, let's send bang. Let's send bang already. <laughs> okay, hello. Good afternoon. Is my sound okay? Yeah, okay, uh, you can hear me well. Hey, good afternoon. Welcome back to this, uh, our last Sandbank AIoT channel, uh, episode number 45. My name, my name is C.C. Lee. Yeah, my name is Kenel. So we are consistently doing the uh, Friday session with you, uh, Sandbank about AIoT, Sandbank about technology, Sandbank about how this uh, technology is able to help you grow your business, uh, transformation, uh, digitalization and so on so okay uh, by the way uh, what is the the hottest topic uh, today you know digital twin <laughs> digital twin no it's a war <laughs> this morning I just heard about one of the, 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 the I mean one of the news Israel fight back you know to, to, to Iran Oh, <laughs> that is a big, that's a, a big issue, man. <laughs> yeah, that's a big issue. Okay. Um, yeah, let's come back to all this uh, Samang AIoT again. Uh, of course, uh, this round, uh, we asked about, just now we asked about this digital twin. Of course, just now I'm doing the simulation. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, do, I'm, I'm, I'm not running the manufacturing plant, by the way. Uh, the, of course, the profit margin, the market competitiveness is always there. Market is very dynamic right now, especially you are running a manufacturing plant, you know, with a, a very thin profit margin sometimes. Yeah. So how can you use technology to help you to grow or to make or to optimize your process so that you are able to be you are able to stay competitive, you are able to increase your profit margin make your business more profitable. This is something that is, I think, will be most important in using the technology. So, you know, just now you said it depends, it depends you know. So what, yeah. is, what is the depends? <laughs> okay, so it depends on how you want to use the digital twins. Yeah. So if you plan to digital twins your entire factory, mm -hmm. this will cost you a lot of money, of course. Mm -hmm. But if you just want to digital twins your some of your product, mm -hmm. part of your product process, uh, or process, or a process, mm -hmm. or uh, some machine, mm -hmm. uh, how the machine work, uh, then that it will cost you less money. Uh, of course, of course, costing less money is one thing, but uh, depends on if let's say the digital twin is able to help you to reduce a substantial of uh, cost, mm -hmm. yeah or improve or optimize your process or with a, a substantial kind of optimization, which you can compare, there is a big trade off between your cost and your, your profit margin, then maybe that can be practical uh, model, yeah. right? Rather than <laughs> how are you going to do, don't know. <laughs> so this is how technology is able to be, uh, is able to use technology to apply in some of these uh, process for example uh, Kenya was talking about uh, one of the process uh, entirely entire factory is another issue mm -hmm. you know but usually you have certain certain uh, process that eating up a lot of uh, your resources those are most critical point that you should focus on that to to to, to make optimization and so on yeah mm -hmm. is that what 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 we, we are talking about yeah now? yes yeah so okay so having said uh, digital twin, what is this digital twin? What is this digital twin? Uh, you, know? mm, you have a physical object mm -hmm. and then you create a digital version of it. 
yeah, it's a count. Twin, right? Yeah, it's a count. Okay. Twin. But uh, in the actual process, let's say, for example, uh, for example, you have a, 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 a process that is running certain thing that it will be. Uh, uh, it depends on many many factors, you know, along when you're running the the, the, the whole process, and then there is an output. There is an output. So of course, uh, to sum summarize everything about this, uh, uh, your profit is something related to your profit margin will be the uh, cost and the time and the effort. What are the thing that what are the resources that put in in order to 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 achieve that? So if you are able to, so digital thing one of the aspect because digital thing can be applied in many many many. Area. For example, you know, we only we want to talk about the manufacturing or smart manufacturing. So this process, you are able to, this is a physical process, it's actual running process. But I want to make another model. This model will be the uh what it called a simulated model, a simulated model, or it's a kind of a virtual model, a virtual model. But um a lot of people is uh, confusing about this part. You know that they, they, they say it's a simulator or it's a simulator. You know, but it's not only a simulator. Or not, yeah, right. it's not only a simulator. It's digital twin is a combination of a simulation, a combination of a, a modeling AI modeling involve AI, and also it involves some IoT. And this is also one part of the area where we want to uh, talk about how our AIoT is able to help you in this uh, uh, populating the, the, the data for the, the digital twin. These are the areas that you, you, you we are talking about. So it's a kind of virtual space where you are able to do simulation within the thing. And then you are able to adjust certain parameters to optimize or what are the parameters that affect the whole thing. But it's really based on the real data. Yeah. Uh, so that is the part, real data. Where can you find the real data? Mm. So what are the steps? Uh, you know, do you, uh, can you just summarize? What are the steps? So before I build a digital, what, what do you need? Yeah, just now already mentioned the yeah. real data. So real data. first thing we need to get the data first. Okay, we need IoT. <laughs> la. Yes. Uh, we need IoT for the, the real data. What are the, 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 what is the second step? Maybe we put about four or five steps. What are the things that we need? in order to build a digital tree. Yeah, after you get the data, of course, you need to keep the data in somewhere. Mm -hmm. And then let your digital version of your product mm -hmm. do the run the simulation. Yes. So, because based on the input real data, of course, you want to adjust some parameter as well mm -hmm. to see how the, your di digital version of your product <laughs> respond to those changes mm -hmm. uh, so that you can make some prediction based on it mm. okay so we need to create an environment where you can accept the the, the, the what they call the, the real data yeah. in so the real data is actually uh, driving the digital model of the, the, the what they call the virtual model of your twin you know this twin so that's why it's not it's not uh, 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 exactly the same as simulator simulator is whatever we just want in but this one we are basing on the real data from the actual process or actual model. Yeah, this is this make the, the digital twin and the simulator different. So yeah, so when you have the those data, uh, we are able to create a model. What what else uh, we, we 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 are looking? Of course, we are looking at those output yeah. the, the real output. Uh, okay. Real output and the, here the output, if let's say you're simulating the data, you're, it's going to be the same output. Yeah, you can have the same output. But after applying the uh, AI model inside, you know, uh, or so-called, um, uh, so-called, uh, uh, it's not, uh, not, talk, not talking about this uh, AI data analytic yet, but mainly talking about the AI, uh, kind of AI modeling mm -hmm. uh, because with this set of data you are giving this output you know, this this environment already uh, working at, at the ace how can you use the uh, this uh, learn model uh, learn model to to by adjusting certain certain parameter or certain certain process uh, uh, parameter you are able to have a different output 
actually we are using the virtual model to mm -hmm. do experiment. Uh, you are able to fit in or you are able to fit in the different data, you know, rather than I, let's say I unplug the, 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 the actual model. So we I inject a certain thing. So I should be able to see what is the output. Yeah. Or by looking at the current digital twin, you will, you know roughly what is the thing that you are going to, you are heading to. Mm. Oh, the digital twin should be able to give you this one, right? Yeah. Uh, it's kind of predictive thing. So, so I, I'm looking at the current data. I sh I'm actually know where am I heading to. Yes. Yeah. So that is, uh, uh, so data is still very important in this case, correct? Yes. Okay, no. uh, so, so in order to, to, to just uh, 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 elaborate, you know, with one of the process, one of the process, recently we visited the, uh, one of the pyrolysis uh, 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 process, right? We will see the priority. Maybe can I have the slide? Okay, this is the actual running process in for the priority. Remember those are tire, they, mm. they recycle the tire, at the end they, they burn the thing, they got one chamber to burn the thing, some temperature, pressure, some of the parameters is very important. So at the actual output, you know, what are the, the, the raw, what are the, this uh, uh, value material that is producing, uh, including oil also, yeah. yeah, remember. So this part, if let's say, you know, the market condition is not so good, you know, so, the, so the, 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 the price is very competitive because a lot of people is doing this one. You know. So in order to, 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 to stay ahead, you know, by applying technology, by applying some of these things, how can you how can you improve so that you are one one uh, level ahead does it make sense again mm, yeah actually by using the digital twins mm. you can do some experiment mm -hmm. with your virtual model without affecting the physical model yes so let's say your production line is keep on running mm -hmm. but you want to do some experiment on it mm. So without affecting it, so you need the digital twins for you to do the testing. Yeah. So one thing that also we know in this uh, priority asset, uh, this uh, this uh, process, there is one part very important because they are uh, able to, to 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 get the output of a material. Actually, that is depending on the 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 the, the, the process. Yeah. So. So those process actually, some of the parameter actually affecting the process very, uh, 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 I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's giving uh, uh, this kind of output a big impact. Lah, huh? Depends on which one, which cow grade that you are you're producing. So you are able, if let's say you are able to simulate that, you are able to control the, 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 the environment so that you can produce that kind of uh, output. You know, that is really a plus. Maybe, you know. Let's say one kilogram you are selling at a 50 cent. Right now you can produce something that's one kilo, you can do uh, one ringgit or one dollar or something like that. So that is, you know, it's kind of a, 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 a big value added to, to the thing, right? Yeah. yeah. So let's come to this, uh, 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 this uh, uh, slide again. So how this uh, digital twin is being applied, okay? So you can take a look at this, uh, place uh, so of course on the left hand side that will be the twin okay the, the left hand side that will be a twin okay, the, the, the modeling of course in this uh, modeling you need as you know we need real data okay we need yeah. real data so we need iot yeah so all this while we have been talking for the past 40 over <laughs> episode <laughs> our 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 this uh, tongue uh, won't be you know it is always sticking to this IoT thing. <laughs> so this is one of our IoT gateway. So you can use this uh, IoT gateway to extract to those uh, data and then uh, move on. So you may have another AI uh, analytic modeling uh, which is sitting together. It's continue watching the, 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 the thing, you know, in order to, to, to run the whole digital twin. And then they, certainly you have a, a expected output or a cow kind of output that is able to be uh, produced by the, uh, this uh, virtual twin. Yeah. So with that, you sh then only you are able to um, make the, the, the whole twin work 
you know. So what 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 would be the, the very first thing that uh, after having the twin, what what would be the very first thing that that this uh, let's say uh, uh, this uh, 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 factory is going to do with this uh, twin? What do you think, uh, you know? Let's say they, they have the twin already. What what should they do? Mm, they should use the their twins mm -hmm. to optimize their process first. Uh, so they have to set an objective. What are the things that are because we don't know. You know. They only know which part is the most expensive, which part is most valuable. So you, because once that thing is in your hand, meaning you are able to, you, know, you, are, you, you, you won't be, uh, oh, I think, uh, I feel uh, we will be able to achieve that, but at the end, we, we can't achieve. Yeah. So by tuning this one, let's say I'm controlling the input, I'm able to give you the correct output, something like that. So that, that's a whole, uh whole gist about the digital twin of course uh digital twin, what the can the digital twin use for other than this uh, you know? mm. yeah the first one is we want to use it to optimize the process mm -hmm. find the best solution for us mm -hmm. and then the second is after we gather all those data we can use it to do the predictive maintenance yeah, you can uh, use a predictive maintenance using the twin as well. Yes, and yeah. then also can use it to do some forecasting. Mm -hmm. Forecasting. Mm. I think this mainly three yeah, are uh, most, most 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 important are uh, forecasting, uh, predictive, and also optimization. These are the uh, key three. And also help you to save saving the cost because mm. you no need to use a real object to do the experiment. Everything is inside the virtual environment. Yeah, you can, you can, you can uh, practically you can do this one in, yes. uh, <laughs> especially when your raw material is very expensive. Uh -huh. So that is a twin. When your twin is in your hand, uh, you can turn even the world upside down. <laughs> not not that serious, uh, Okay. So but, uh, okay, coming to that, uh, that uh, I think. I hope you guys have got some some idea of this uh, how the digital twin work. In fact, uh, many chapter away ago we, we touched about this one, but we did touch this one is a very uh, on a very surface. Uh, so by having AI and data analytics, by deep learning and with the big computing power, all this one is able to be achieved. Yeah. So, yeah. So uh, we will move on uh, to a more interesting thing, you know, which we are going to do some demo to you as usual. Uh, by the way, before we move on, uh, you are watching the Less Sembang AIoT from uh, uh, Malaysia here, from Exome Tech Malaysia, and AIoT mission, you know, our training arm, uh, sharing with you this uh, topic. If you find this uh, channel uh, relevant, do subscribe like and share thank you so with that i think we want to just run through a quick advertisement <laughs> <laughs> quick advertisement can we Revolution 4 Smart Factory Awareness with IAT is a door-opening course that will bring you to realize the implementation of smart factory processes using the latest technologies such as artificial intelligence and industrial Internet of Things. Other than the theoretical concept of Industrial Revolution 4, you will be able to get a hands-on experience on how to perform data collection, how to deploy object detection model and many more. If you're interested, feel free to click the link below or WhatsApp us. We will see you there. Okay, just a short, short uh, 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 ads there. Uh, I think for that part, we, me and Ken Long, we, we, we did this uh, AIoT uh, awareness training program with some of the beginners and also for some of the people who has, uh, uh, who, who want to explore uh, how IoT AI in this, uh, in this class, we, we talk about uh, real IoT protocol, how can you do, how can you practice this one? How can you collect real data? You know, that was in the class. And also deep learning AI. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just now you see the video, deep learning AI is also one of the uh, place, uh, well, one of the subject, one of the topic that we touched. Uh, that is more of the vision side, right? Yeah, the, the vision object side. detection. Object detection. 
not so much classification. Uh, not so classification much. is another model, lah. Uh, yeah. So that is a part of it. So in order to to to, to bring you this demo, before I bring you this demo, can we have uh, my my this uh, uh my slide? Okay, step by step. Okay, in order to gather this data, you know, for your digital twin, let's say, yeah. So what do you need? So what do you need? So of course, for that pyrolysis, probably a, a, a kind of a process. You need a temperature sensors. Oh, these are the some of our RTD sensors that I think we have shown before. We have shown before. So we are going to run a live demo later on. You know, you're going to see that. But I'm going to just describe to you first, then you know the flow. So that we can do the demo, then you can easily uh, understand it. Okay, so of course, uh, for some of the process, uh, it's not practical for you to do wiring. Yeah, it's not practical to do wiring. So this is a LoRa uh, 1.5 kilometers radius kind of a, a radio transmission is just nice. Uh, you do not need to apply any uh, licensing because it's fall under this uh, ISM uh, ban. So with that, you are able to gather data from anywhere without even hook up to any uh, what you call real physical wire. Uh, so that is uh, one part. And then, uh, of course, you need our Xomtech IoT H gateway. If you not, you can use the 4G gateway routers. Those are able to do the same thing for you. But then uh, this guy is uh, powerful enough to even talk to some of the uh, your PLC. Yeah, from PLC. So with that, we have a uh, over there. We are going to demonstrate. We are going to demonstrate to you. Maybe can you 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 should uh, you should explain this part. Can we make it bigger? Hmm. Okay. So for this part, after the IoT gateway gather the data, hmm. it can send the data to the. A centralized server mm -hmm. through the web API. Mm. So web, through the web API means you can through the HTTP get, HTTP post, uh, this mm. kind of RESTful API. Mm. So at your centralized server, you also can have a SCADA software. For example, over here we have the Abistra SCADA running over here mm -hmm. to gather the data from multiple IoT gateway mm. uh, to display the data from each of the gateway. So our topology is always multiple edge that you can talk to and you, know, you can use REST. Uh, REST API to yeah. gather all this data to the centralized server. Yes. Okay. So from there on, I think you can fit. Yeah. You yeah. Can fit. From there, you can create a digital twins modeling. Mm -hmm. uh, either you want the true uh, cloud or locally also can. Mm. Okay. Why I want to highlight? I just want to highlight a little bit back in the, this uh, IoT H gateway. IoT H gateway here uh, for you to use our IoT H gateway, we come with this uh, uh, local uh, local database. Local database. This database is able to 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 help you to keep some of the historical uh, historian data. At the same time, also is able to uh, host the. Uh, data in the web API format. Yeah. Yeah. So that will allow you to not only the SCADA, like Adistra SCADA is able to extract the data, you are able to open up to any of the MRT or, or, or ERP software mm -hmm. or any other software with the web API interface that are documented for you to extract mm -hmm. the data. So in this case, uh, up to a SCADA, SCADA, of course, you can do all kind of visualization locally. Plus, you can fit that to the uh, your digital twin. Uh, that is the whole concept. Okay, so we just move on to the uh, um, uh, a demo. So we have uh, one of the place remote place with um, what they call the temperature sensors. Yes. Uh, with, uh, this is a place where we park two temperature sensors. Eh? We have two 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 set of temperature sensor. Yes, yeah, two, two RTG sensor. Actually, our colleague um, Amil is helping us. Amil, can you use a pen to show where is the sensors? Can you hear us? Okay, you have the sensor. We have another one. Very good. 
So we are very clear this time. Huh? Mm, yeah. Last time we run it uh, upstairs. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, can, cannot. Uh, the, the internet access is not very good. So with this one, what are you going to do, uh, Amir? Hello? Yeah, what are you going to do with this sensor? So this sensor, right now I have a, a cup wow. of water. You prepare a coffee. Okay. Yeah. Not coffee, lah. Warm water. A warm water. So you're so, going to probe inside, right? Yeah. Okay, later on, later on, later on. Okay, okay. We move on to the other screen where the first, very first screen that we're supposed to show which, 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 which other screen. Okay, this is the one, right? Yeah. Yeah. So which are the, 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 the probe that you're going to insert that to the, to the, uh, temp, uh, this uh, temperature probe you're going, where, where, which, which one you are going to insert? Maybe you can do that straight away. Uh, okay. So the top one. How okay. warm? How warm is your water? It's not that warm, lah. It's warm, warm. warm. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's, it's moving. It's moving. Yeah. 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 It's, increasing. It's, it's increasing. Okay. Just want to ask you, uh, 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 uh Amel, because uh, you are the one who use this uh, Amistra uh, Scada to 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 yes. make up the this screen. How how long did you take to 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 make up this screen, and then how long did you make up uh, 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 the, the data to this uh, here? Uh, I took about three days. Three days. Ah, okay, very good, very good. Okay, um, what is the protocol that we extract the data from the edge gateway? We, we haven't shown the edge gateway right here, right? right? Uh, no, here is already at the centralized server. Or oh, this one already at the centralized uh, SCADA yeah. server. You know, if you you can you can reverse our, our video late, later later lah you know, to, to, to see the, the thing. But then uh, okay. So what are the pro what are the, 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 the setup that you need to do at this Alistra Scada in order to retrieve data from the H server? I mean so so we using the driver, uh, we call it uh Web API, which is we collect the data oh. from the HTTP. Okay. So, we have the web API yeah, driver. Yes. Yeah, we have a app, web API driver. Uh, yeah. Uh, install, and then we are able to point to the HTTP. You use HTTP, Of course, uh, you use HTTP. You point to the H server. Do we have anything to, to show on the web uh, app, uh, web web server? The the H server. Uh, so well, this time we only show the centralized server. Yeah, we are only showing the centralized server. Of course, the data actually is actually came came from the uh, IoT H server. Okay. Is there any other thing that you want to special that you want to talk about this one, uh, Amir? Uh, for right now, no. <laughs> no lah. The water warm enough lah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, 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 Amir. Okay, yeah. thank you. Mr. So, you know, is there any more thing that you want to touch about this this area? What are the things that you... What is the biggest challenge in, in, in implementing this? Okay, so for to this part, we are only showing how to use the IoT mm -hmm. to gather the data right. and fit into the your SCADA. Mm -hmm. But in this case, the SCADA is not the digital twins. Yeah. Uh -huh. So SCADA is not the digital twin yeah, yet. SCADA yes. is not the digital twins. Yeah. So SCADA is just a data visualization tools mm -hmm. for you to visualize the data. Mm -hmm. So the next step to create your digital twins, mm -hmm. so you need to understand the characteristic, the behavior for example, let's say we have the pump over there. Mm -hmm. So you need to study the characteristic, the behavior of the pump, what mm -hmm. kind of parameter it takes, and mm -hmm. how this parameter affects the output of the pump. Mm -hmm. uh, so they, you need to create a mathematical model. So for this case, uh, uh, for this case, the digital twin is not used for the process improvement. Yeah. But this is can let's say this for this guy, it can be. Hey, how come there's one 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 uh, prawn face uh, coming out? Okay. Oh, 70 over degree. So so he's, he's shouting there. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> So basically, here uh, it can be for a process in the the the, the this thing. Uh, it can be for a process also yeah. It can be a pro for process. But in this case, a temperature or this thing, it can be for uh, actually it's, this one can be for a process also lah. Because the, the temperature data for a pipe. Yeah. 
of course uh, don't don't query us on how does the this uh, <laughs> Uh, flow of the, the your your the the, the, the part how, how does it go like well, this is just a, a demonstration only uh. so again just now Kenyan was asking uh, telling you know for the pump mm -hmm. you can also create a digital twin for the pump yeah. so from there you are able to uh, do some predictive kind of uh, mm -hmm. maintenance thing and so on but why why if let's say we can use an AI analytics to do a, a predictive maintenance why is a, a why, why do you need a digital twin anymore? Actually, the output from the digital twins, mm -hmm. it becomes an input for the AI to study, ah, to do the predictive maintenance. Okay. This one is just like our, the, the, the old days we may study the feedback and control system, yeah. something like that. Mm. Yeah, feedback and control system. If you, if you study electrical engineering or electronics engineering, last time we study about this uh, feedback and control system. You have a box. And then you 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 give your output output feedback to the input, you know. Then you 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 know you control the output, uh, something like that uh, Something like that is a feedback and control system. Actually, very similar. Mm -hmm. It's a very similar. The only thing is a feedback and control system. Last time we study is based on the damper. Uh, if you want to maintain, this is more on the PID control, uh, uh, proportional integration and differentiation kind of control where you want to you want to make sure the temperature fall within the the, the accurate thing. Oh, that is a uh, PID control. PID is one, one part of a, this is a process control. So process control for this case, let's say we are applying this concept. It's very similar concept in the digital twin. Yeah, it's very similar concept. Uh, digital twin maybe the feedback con feedback part we are able to tune for this case, and then um, yeah, so data actual data you can actually uh, produce using the IoT, and then you have output. Yeah, this is basically how 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 you can do. But uh, just now you mentioned about the output of the thing can be used by the AI to do some learning. Yeah, right? yes. It's kind of training. Or it's a kind of uh, that that make up the whole model. Yeah, actually, uh, the main objective of the digital twins is. Instead, you're using a real product, a real farm mm -hmm. to do the experiment to test what are the possible outcome, mm -hmm. and that might that also might cause some damage to your real farm. Mm -hmm. Then later, you create a digital version of it, mm -hmm. and then you do all the testing. It won't mm -hmm. damage anything. Yeah, uh -huh. we only extract the data, yeah. the real data, uh, and then it's called virtual lah. It's yes. called just like game lah. You play the game, you you die. You yeah. can die multiple yeah. times. Your watcher found <laughs> damage also it won't cost you anything. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I hope that is the end of our demonstration. Mm -hmm. right? yes. So I hope you enjoy this uh, uh, session just now. We have shown you the demonstration and so on. So with that, I think, uh, do you have any other thing to, 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 to say? Uh, yeah, no. yeah. So again, uh, if you find this uh, video or you find this uh, live, this is live, huh? this is not video, <laughs> this is not a video, this is live. Uh, you can find this live, if you find this live uh, session um, relevant uh, and beneficial, do share, like, and subscribe to us. Uh, I'm signing off, Cecily here. I will see you in the next time. And then maybe you also. Yeah, I'm Daniel, signing off here. So wish you a nice uh, weekend ahead. Thank you. Bye-bye.